G'day guys, welcome to another video. My name is Josh from Aquamate and today we'll be setting up a tank that I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. Uh, something just doesn't feel right though. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, whoa, that feels much better. All right, so today we are finally setting up a Nintendo Aquascape or a Nintendo fish tank. So like a lot of you, that's right, I checked the analytics. I know who's watching the channel. <laughs> you would have grown up with some classics like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Mario. And I've been keeping video games and collecting video games for oh, 20 odd years, 30 years. Over the last couple of years, the fish tanks have become a bit of a priority, but I finally decided to try and merge the two. So at the expense of my NES Mini, I've now got a really cool aquascape and I'm gonna show you how we set it up. This is a good time if you're new to the channel to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you enjoy the tank. It looks really cool and I can't wait to show you how I did it. So this is the Nintendo Mini that we are sacrificing for the greater good of a Nintendo Aquarium. <laughs> uh, I've um, denied about this for ages. It's a fully working Nintendo Mini. I've thought about pulling everything out of it, uh, weighing it down, uh, you know, filling it with rocks and oh, thought about different ways that I could seal it and everything. But in the end, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to glue some rocks to the bottom of it and the controller, and they're going to be our centerpiece in the, uh, the new Nintendo Aquarium. Now, one question is, how are we going to do it? We're going to use some silicon. So Sally's glass, 100%. Is it aquarium safe? <gasps> Yes, it says at the bottom, it is for windows and aquariums. So, it doesn't help if you drop it. <laughs> so let's get stuck in. Let's put some silicon on the bottom, add some rocks and let it dry. It does take a couple days to dry. Uh, I'm gonna try and speed that process up a little bit today because uh, I'm impatient. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to use some little river rocks. Uh, that way, I don't care if you can kind of see them at the end, but they will be heavy enough to weigh these down. Perfect. All right, so we'll let that sit there and dry Effectively, as I said, it's just to weigh it down. The bottom bits are gonna be covered by uh, some gravel. Now, speaking of gravel, we've used large river rocks. I don't think I'm gonna use any of the skate, but check this out. Let me uh, try not to drop it. Get into focus. Look at these. These are tiny, tiny little river rocks. Uh, I'm really excited to use them. I think it's gonna make it look like a creek in there. Um, found these at Studio H2O. We made a video about all of the guppies that they have there and every tank had this at the bottom. And I said to Boaz afterwards, I was like, I need to get my hands on some of that. And they couldn't order any more in, but he found a bag for me and he said, just take as much as you need and uh, give me the rest back. So, don't know what that is though. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna use aqua soil and then we're gonna put this on there. So another thing we're using, this would be the main feature of the wood, uh, is sort of, see what I want to do. I want it sort of coming in from the back, leaning over sort of near the Nintendo, and it's just going to be a heavily planted aquarium. So I'll show you the plants very shortly. When the light goes on, I'll show you where uh, all the plants are that I've been collecting just for this one tank. All right, so <laughs> this tank, a lot of you have seen before. There is lots of duckweed, uh, but Every plant I put in here grows really well. So we have some Java Fern, some Anubius, some Amazon Sword, some Crested Java Fern that I've been collecting that I'm going to take out of this tank and we're going to be using all of that in the Nintendo tank. So we're going to create like a lush, low tech jungle for our Nintendo to live in. <laughs> So I'm going to get all of these out and then we're going to do a bit of a wash so we make sure 
we don't have any duckweed because one tank with duckweed is enough. Some would say it's too many. <laughs> so let me get all these out and let's have a proper look at the plants. All right, so let's, let's see what we've got. We've got a really large Java fern. Uh, it was in better condition when it was given to me by a friend of the channel and a longtime follower, Dennis Lim. So Dennis, shout out. Thank you very much. Uh, Dennis has a six pack. <laughs> he will definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, but this is kind of good. This is what happened because the light on that tank is fantastic for growing plants, but because of the, uh, the duckweed, uh, it kind of steals the show a little bit. So this is gonna really thrive in the new, new setup. Uh, something similar. There's another one. There's a small, small one as well. So that would be handy. Something similar, but different, is this one. I love these, the Crested Java Fern. So a similar plant, but uh, you've got, oh, you've got a tiny little one on its own. A <laughs> plant that's somewhere separate. Um, but yeah, you've got this really sort of tangly ends to it. It's a really cool texture. Um, over here, there's another small uh, Java Fern. Over here is, Move that to the side, another crested java fern. So we've got a fair bit of that going on. And another one, <laughs> another little one. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use any of that stuff. Uh, then we've got just the assorted Anubius. So just your sort of standard Anubius. There's another bit. I think that might be a larger species than the other. There's another one. Uh, there's another one. <laughs> so you can see we've got heaps and heaps of plants all ready. So we're gonna have fully planted tanks straight away, which is exciting. Also got these too, which these are everyone's favorites. Focus, focus. Anubius Nana Petite. So there's three tiny little Anubius in there. Uh, so we'll scatter those around too, but I think we're almost ready to set up. The UN60 Delta worked so well on the Dutchscape that I thought, why not just go with the Delta 30? We're going with a 50 litre tank this time instead of an 80 litre tank. So this will do up to 60 litres. It's gonna be perfect.
So there you have it guys, I really, really love this tank, the way it's worked out. It looks like a big jungle with a Nintendo that's just been abandoned, what, 1980s whatever? <laughs> so like 30 years ago, uh, just out there on like a riverbank and all the plants are growing around it. We've got the 12 watt Petworks light, all easy to grow plants. So it's a low tech plant, planted tank, so no CO2. I'm gonna put a little bit of fertilizer in there because I want them to get really bushy and keep up those regular water changes. It is a little bit cloudy. We can fix that by doing more water changes. There's also a video I showed you guys a little while ago about how to fix a cloudy tank. So check that one out if you've got that issue at home. But otherwise, I can add in some purigen or activated carbon and we'll be right on top of it. Now this is the really important bit. I need your help to choose fish. I really wanna hear from you guys first. I've got one idea, glow light tetras. They're like a sort of see-through iridescent fish with like a just bright orange line through the middle of them. Which kind of reminds me of like some old 80s video games, like a laser. So I kind of like that idea. I want to go with that theme. So if you've got any fish that you think remind you of video games back in the day, uh, I'd love to hear about it. Maybe even like a Siamese fighting fish with a, a red head and a blue body. And call it Mario, something like that would be really cool. But I'd love to hear your comments in the section because I need a bit of help with this one. If you enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed, then what are you waiting for? We're doing lots of stuff with fish tanks on the channel lately. We've got the Dutch skate that's halfway there. It's looking fantastic. We've still got a bit of algae. We've got one plant back there that I'm just trying to figure out whether it's in the right spot. Uh, but once the plants have really taken over, we're gonna be filling that one with more fish. Obviously I need your help to fill this one with fish. So don't miss out, make sure you're subscribed. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you for joining me and I really hope you enjoyed this build. <sighs> I killed a Nintendo for a fish tank, but I don't regret it. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you soon. What a wonderful world.